بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين These are some exercises about section 5.3 I use part 1 of the fundamental theorem of calculus to find the derivative of this function Well we know that the fundamental theorem of calculus part 1 says that d by dx of integral from a to x f of t dt is equal to f of x. So the derivative of g here would be uh, d g prime x and it would be d by dx of the integral from 0 to x square root of t plus t cube dt so according to the theorem the answer would be square root of x plus square root of x cube just f of x now here we have x and 0 the theorem says a to x not x to 0 so first I will write it negative from 0 to x you know from the properties of definite integral we can do that we can switch the limits of the integral and put a negative sign so now what would be f prime of x it would be the derivative of this integral and the negative sign will come out and then we have the derivative of this integral which is 1 plus secant x using the theorem all right here we have uh, a function so in this case the derivative of the integral if it is from a to g of x function in x and here we have f of t dt then the answer in this case would be f of g of x times the derivative of g or g prime of x so this is when we have function of x not x like this example so h prime of x would be the derivative of this integral and it would be uh, we replace z by square root of x by the function here so square root of x square over square root of x raised to the power 4 plus 1 and then we multiply by g prime or the derivative of square root of x which is 1 over 2 square root of x remember square root of x can be written as x to the power half so the derivative would be uh, square root of x prime would be half times x to the power negative half or 1 over 2 square root of x if you bring this in the denominator so this would be uh, x over x square plus 1 times 1 over 2 square root of x and you can simplify x over square root of x would be square root of x and I have 2 times x square plus 1 in the denominator same uh, question so y prime would be the derivative of the integral is e to the power negative and i replace t by tan x t squared so i will have tan square times the derivative of tan which is secant square x so this would be uh, y prime here to find y prime uh, I, I need the function to be uh, the upper limit not the lower limit of the integral so first I will write it at uh, the same integral equals to a negative from pi over 4 to square root of x theta tan theta d theta this is theta so uh, what would be y prime y prime would be the derivative of this integral the negative comes out and the derivative of this integral would be I change theta with the function 
square root of x, tan square root of x, and then I multiply by the derivative of the square root, which is 1 over 2 square root of x. Square root cancels with square root, and I will have negative 1 over 2 tan square root of x. Now, examples or questions about the second part of the fundamental theorem of calculus, evaluate the integral. And you know the second part says that if you want to find uh, integral from a to x of f prime uh, t dt, the answer would be f of x minus f of a, which means I need uh, an antiderivative of cosine theta. I need a function in which its derivative is cosine theta. So I know that sine theta prime is cosine theta. So the answer here would be sine 0 minus sine pi over 2. And sine 0 is 0, and pi, sine pi over 2 is 1. So the answer is negative 1. Here, notice that E is a constant, and the derivative of x is 1. So E can be taken outside, okay? E can be taken outside, and then x, the derivative of 1 would be, then the integral of 1 would be x, and I replace x by 5, and then I replace x by negative 5, and the answer would be 10e. If you remember also, we had uh, a formula to find a uh, constant uh, if it is k or any constant, we just multiply it by 5 by b minus a, if you remember. So you will get the same answer. Here I need uh, an antiderivative of this function. So I know that secant theta prime, the derivative of secant theta is secant theta tan theta. So an antiderivative of this function is secant theta. So the answer would be secant pi over 3 minus secant 0. And secant pi over 3 is 1 over cosine pi over 3. So it's 1 over half, which is 2. And secant 0 is 1 over cosine 0, which is 1. So the answer is 1. Now what happens if this is a function and this is a function and we need to find the derivative? Well, you need to write this integral in this case like this from 2x to 0, f of u du, plus from 0 to 3x, f of u du. So first I will write this integral from 2x to 0, then plus from 0 to 3x. But from 2x to 0, I will write it negative from 0 to 2x, uh, f of u, or u squared minus 1 over u squared plus 1 du and the other integral plus from 0 to 3x uh, u square minus 1 over u square plus 1 du. And now I can find the derivative of g. So g prime of x would be the negative sign will come out and I need to find the derivative of this function with respect to x. So I replace u by 2x. So 2x to the power 2 would be 4x squared minus 1 over 4x squared plus 1. And then I multiply by the derivative of 2x, which is 2. Plus, I replace y by 3x, so 9x squared minus 1 over 9x squared plus 1 times the derivative of 3x, which is 3. So this would be the derivative of g prime. Uh, the last question, f of 1 is 12, f of prime is continuous. Uh, this integral is 17. What is the value of f4? Using part 2 of the fundamental theorem, I know that uh, this is equal to 
f of 4 minus f of 1. So this is given in the question uh, to be equal to 17. f of 4 is required and f of 1 is given to be 12. So if you take uh, 12 to the other side, f of 4 would be 29. Uh, this was the last question. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the session. Thank you very much.